Uh, hey guys, this is Emo Tempest uh, coming to you with, a, I guess, a Lord of the Tachyon sneak peek opening. Uh, we did get our sneak peeks last week or whatever on Saturday, but uh, all the stores in the area run out of, ran out of them pretty quickly. So I asked a, a couple good friends of mine to buy me some in Orlando from the Game Academy and send them to me. So um, I just got them in today and I'm going to show you guys what I pulled. Um, I did uh, win a couple of the stuff. I, I won the Playman raffle, I guess, but I sold that stuff right away. And the first card is Gag, uh, uh, Gear Gear Armor, Gear Gear Gear, and Altitude. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess let me know what you guys are looking forward to in this set. Um, I want to hear your oh, Harpy Chandler Ulti, great, and uh, per Phantom Dragon. It's pretty good. Um, I, I really like the idea of Mecha Phantom Beasts. Uh, it's a pretty interesting deck altogether. Uh, it's gonna be expensive. Uh, Fairy Cheering Girl. It's going to be pretty expensive, but uh, I think overall it'll be pretty good. I know the rare uh, four-star uh, monster is a 25 attacker right off the bat, so dual barrel roll <laughs> and a mind drain. Those are pretty good. I needed that. Um, oh, mind drain is the new soul drain uh, as well as skill drain. Uh, prevents all hand traps. Uh, stuff like Megalo. Not hand traps, anything that activates in the hand. Uh, Megalo, Priestess, and Maxis and stuff. See, Mecha Fan, Tether Wolf, he's the one I was talking about. Uh, on summon, he drops a token, and he can do, uh, once per battle, I think he can uh, destroy the token to gain 800 attack. That puts him at 25 right off the bat. That helps him get over a lot of things. Uh, Ryo and uh, War Gene Warps, he's like the strongest. Uh, second set of packs is uh, Mermel Abyss Balin. Uh, he's the useless one, but uh, a, new no a new number card, Heraldic Crest. Uh, we're doing okay so far. I put an ulti, an ultra, uh, wheel of prophecy. Oh, that card's gonna be really good with all the judgment. Uh, if you guys have the judgments and you play him, you'll realize how quickly he helps out, uh, at least with the plusing and making sure you don't uh, deck out and stuff like that. Uh, next pack is Ice Beast and oh, another secret rare coyote. I did pull one of these on my first sneak peek, but um, yeah, I was hoping for something else. Uh, <laughs> At least the Draco sack. Uh, uh, Spellbook. Uh, Triforoceratops. He's pretty good. He's the new uh, Gores, I hear. Uh, when you special summon three or more, you can drop him. And then he can't be destroyed. Something like that. And uh, the last pack in this is Go 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 Gigas and Duck Fighter. Duck Fighter is part of the Mecha Phantom Beast uh, deck, I guess. Uh, overall, pretty good. Uh, extra sneak peeks. Uh, I want to give a shout out to. Uh, uh, Ichigo29 and uh, Mr. Worldwide for uh, sending me these. Uh, they don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's funny. I just asked them to do me a solid and uh, get me their cards. Uh, but yeah, so I overall pretty decent uh, sneak peek from Orlando. Um, got a secret, ulti, ultra, super, two supers in 10 packs. Uh, overall pretty good. Uh, let me, Like I said, I want to know what you guys think about the set, uh, what you're looking forward to. I'm going to regionals this weekend. It's going to be the first regional. It's still a Cosmo Blazer regional, but it is going to be... The first day of the regional where uh, Tachyon is legal, so it's going to be tough. Uh, I'll let you guys know how I do after that. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, this is Emo Tempest uh, logging out.